uh, here we are at the book launch party of this marvelous book, The Fault in Our Sorrows, COVID-19 in the Biden era by Rob Wallace and his collaborators. And today we're, we have an incredible set of panels. Uh, I'll be introducing folks as they come in. And I just want uh, all of us to be aware of sort of the conjuncture we're living in. We're looking at the situation in Syria and uh, Turkey, uh, the earthquake. We're thinking, of course, about Eddie Conway, one of the great uh, militants of the Black Panther Party, who spent years in jail, but helped to really start the Real News Network as well, uh, and did so much work inside. So we're thinking about our ancestors, we're thinking about folks present, and we're thinking about the kind of work we need to do as radical and revolutionary people to do the fundamental thing that we all want to do, which is make this planet safe for love of all kinds, of all forms, of all species. I'm Dr. Edgar Rivera Colon. I'm part of the People's CDC, but of course, I'm also a professor at a Tech School of Medicine here in Los Angeles, the University of Southern California. Uh, and uh, I'm uh, happy to be here to be hosting. Rob is, a, is more than a comrade, he's a brother. And uh, when he asked me, I said, sure, no problem. I'll even wear my pretty blue flower shirt. And lo and behold, here it is. Uh, okay, so let's start. And what I'd like to do is just turn it over to Rebecca, who's from Monthly Review Press, my one of my favorite presses. And as I said before, I've been a Monthly Review subscriber since I was a wee boy in college. And lo and behold, it has helped me in my development as a militant and conscious kid who came from the working classes. Go ahead, Rebecca. Thanks, Edgar. Um, welcome all. Uh, we want to thank Monthly Review Press, wants to thank all of you for coming, and we especially want to thank Rob um, for convening a continued sense of community around this challenging topic. I want to give you a little bit of background for those of you who haven't had a chance to pick up the book. Uh, in The Fault in Our Stars, Rob Wallace shows that beyond matters of specific political persona or party, it was a decades-long structural decline associated with putting profits ahead of people that gutted U.S. public health. But COVID-19 isn't just an American tragedy. Each in its own way, countries around the world following the profit-first model failed their people. Global vaccination campaigns were bottled up by efforts to protect pharmaceutical companies' intellectual property rights. Economies were treated as somehow more real than the people and ecologies upon which they depend. Frustrated populations pu pushed back against lockdowns, abuses of governmental trust, and fair or not, the very concept of public health. A social rot, meanwhile, wended its way into the heart of the sciences that tasked with controlling disease, serve the systems that helped bring about COVID-19 in the first place. 